Hi everyone and welcome to a Chimera episode. In Chimera we modify No Man's Sky and see what procedural greatness we can achieve in the No Man's Sky engine. Uh, today we're in Atlas Rises with my Chimera testing and Rayrod's immersion overhaul. And guys, this planet today, I don't know what classification it is. It's... I don't know. I don't know. I've been getting weird planet classes anyways that kind of defy the traditional labeling. So, um, but this one with the, uh, the, the freakish, you know, um, rock formations like this, or the rock type, uh, whatever. The freakish ro spider rocks uh, covered in grass, and uh, I've been getting some ominous yet amazing skies. Not necessarily right now, in this time of day. This is kind of mid-noon on this planet, but you'll see later. Um, and this is just amazing. I, I didn't even explore it much before I made the recording for you guys. Um, so I'm going to jump back into it when I'm finished here. And explore some more, because this... The thick, green, leafy, uh, uh, you know, um, flora was just really cool. And, um, you know, you know, I always use the word pops. Well, this planet just popped. Really neat. And lots of, lots of neat, um, flora, by the way. Just, um, interesting flora. So... Uh, two quick things. I I mention in, in some of my videos, and, and I, I kind of jump around with my videos. Uh, I made some, I record so many that, you know, I make these recordings and with the intention of posting them, and then I don't. And then sometimes, uh, every now and then, the information's outdated. And so, one of the outdated info that I just wanted to tell you guys is in a, a couple of the videos I'll be posting here. Uh, uh, are some amazing planets coming up but I mentioned that I've been that I used reshade and reshade is a um, uh, post-processing injector kind of a generic post-processing injector and I played with it for a while um, because it gives you global you know control over um, things like you know depth of field um, sharpening textures you know sharpening for textures colors everything but um really not that much of a fan really not a big fan um, I'd rather just uh, use other methods for controlling color in game. Um, I, anyways, uh, I, I was also um, I also mentioned that I was um, using filters, um, uh, creating my own filters, and kind of kind of cut back on that too. Um, and um, anyways, I just wanted to mention that. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is I put out one video. As a matter of fact, I put that video out earlier today. I've been putting out the past two days. I've been putting out two videos a day, which will not I will not be able to maintain that, guys. But it is fun for the time being because I have the time. But um, the other thing I mentioned uh, in that video is uh, using uh, uh, lateral cinematography for some of the exploration videos, and I don't think I'm going to dedicate. Uh, videos to l lateral or I, I even had the idea of um, what I call retreat exploration which is basically just a dolly for the um, camera style just a kind of uh, moving away from the subject for the whole video I, I think instead I'm just going to use lateral uh, or uh, tracking and dolly uh, cinematography styles it just in the videos just just you know just incorporate them in and, and not have dedicated videos for camera styles, if that makes sense. Anyways, I tend to overcomplicate things sometimes, but I just wanted to mention that to you guys, that I'm, I may use reshade here and there, but I don't think I am much anymore. And uh, filters either. I like a, I like a more direct uh, modif uh, modifying approach to, to color in No Man's Sky. So I, I like the results much better. So um, anyways, guys. You can kind of see the intense skies now, uh, night sky especially. I hope you enjoyed this planet. We'll see you guys next time.